Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. In this video, we're going to be working on another figure from Sanix 3D Design. We're going to be working on Black Panther. I love this pose. Well, everybody, this is the uh, next Sanix figure that we're going to be working on. My son loves Black Panther. It's his favorite Marvel movie. And this is actually going to be going into his room. It's the first 3D print he's taken interest in, in other than the Fortnite stuff that I've done. So uh, he's dying to get this in his room, and after he cleans it, he can have it. That's right. If you're watching, which I know you're not because you think I'm cringy, then uh, you'll get this when you clean your room. <laughs> All right, well, let's go downstairs, and uh, we'll take a look at how I put it together and painted it up. All right, so I got this file over at uh, Sanix's site, the description, uh, the link's in the description, and now it's time to glue her up. And, of course, I use, you know, a copious amount of glue, way too much glue, but why not? Keep it all together. And then I use the accelerator to hold it in place. And uh, this is, of course, after we've done a bunch of sanding and some... Uh, Filler primer, not too much because there's some detail. His, you know, his, you know, his costumes kind of got that pebbliness to it, and uh, you don't want to go overboard with the sanding or the primer. But uh, I don't like this seam line, so I'm going to use some glazing putty, and I'm going to fill that, and then sort of like you know, really work it into the areas around it so that you don't lose that pebbling effect. Um, I don't know if that's a word, pebbling effect, but there we go. It's all done all the way around and sanded nice and smooth. And now it's time to, while that's sort of just sitting there and drying, because I wash them after I sand them to get all the dust off, we're just going to be painting the, the rocks on the base. And again, we're using shadows, uh, highlights and shadows. So uh, higher peaked areas or areas where the light is hitting it, sort of where I've got the light coming from. Those are going to be highlighted, and uh, the other areas will be done in shadow. We use some darker colors. So here's a panther all painted up, and I used a, a matte black, and then I actually hit it again with a matte spray. But I wanted these areas to sort of be more glossy because they are. So I sprayed a little bit of gloss uh, finish uh, from a spray can into a cup, and and now I'm just painting on this gloss. Uh, finish so that these areas shine and then we're going to add a little silver to the nails and to his helmet and there we are the base is done he is done and we're going to put him in there now i didn't show painting all those little pieces parts because a it just you know it's a fairly tedious process and i really need to pick it up move it around and you really all you were seeing was the back of my head so i put some glue in both places and uh now i want this to stay put so use a clamp. I love using clamps. These little Stanleys are great. Not too tight. We don't want to crush it. And we set it and let it go. And there it is. Love the pose on this. I mean, one thing he really does with these models is he does great poses. And I just dig that pose. Uh, Black Panther, uh, awesome movie and an awesome figure. Um, really, really had fun with this one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, simple paint job, matte black, bunch of grays. You saw that. Very easy. You can head over to uh, Sandix's website. It's in the description. Uh, don't forget to check out um, my Patreon page for uh, STL files or videos uh, that I post, uh, sort of behind the scenes stuff. And um, go over to his site, Sandix's site, if you want to pick this model up. They're pretty affordable. I think they're like 15 bucks. I can't remember. And uh, great build. Great build. My son is eyeing this. And again, once he cleans his room, he can have it. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Click like and subscribe and hit the little bell so you know right when the next video comes out. All right, take it easy.